like a post I'm already past braking I'm like 600 miles into it they recommend I think braking at 300 and if you really want to do good it's 500 so I'm past that um, first thing I know everybody's probably wondering is it stiffer yes it's stiffer um, I'm coming from stock from OEM clutch and flywheel so it's yeah it's a lot stiffer I remember when I first got it installed, the first time I, I pushed my clutch in to start my car to test drive it, I remember thinking to myself, what the heck did I do? <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, how the heck am I going to learn to drive this car, you know? And um, I'd say right around, I mean you, you start to feel it get easier, but I'd say right around 350 miles is, is where I started to really notice. That's where I really started to notice it feel easier, but after that, it's pretty much how it's going to be for the for the duration of the clutch, I think. It might get a little bit softer or whatever, but, you know. Uh, the main thing, I had to make a conscious effort to start adding gas before I would start letting out on the clutch. And then, of course, the clutch is a lot closer to the floor at the engagement point. So, you had to keep that in mind. But once you drive and stuff, you get used to it. So, um, yeah, you just, it's like I said in all my other videos, you pretty much just need to practice your throttle, practice your clutch engagement point, and then just work on it. But that's how I, that's how I did it for myself, is I made a conscious effort to start pressing the gas pedal before I started letting out on the clutch. And uh, something my mechanic, told me, which I knew he did it, but I didn't really know why, is uh, he would he would kind of blip the throttle a little bit before he let it out. So he would basically raise the RPM so that it wouldn't stall in first gear. You know, you, you do that kind of wah, 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 and you'd engage. And he does it so seamlessly and does it all the time that I noticed it, but I didn't really realize what he was doing. Because he's got a Xeti, a, a uh, a dual disc and uh, it's a little bit stiffer than mine so that's what he does he kind of blip the throttle and for a day or two I actually was doing that uh, like on inclines and stuff that I wasn't um, stuff that I wasn't confident on you know that I might roll back into somebody but now it's better uh, so yeah just the braking is, is yeah kind of a pain I'll be honest you know I I felt like I was like a new driver again, you know? But you, you get there, you just have to get through it. Let's see if I can do a little pull. Second gear, here we go. Oh yeah, it holds. And we're slow again. I love it. Uh, when I was breaking it in, when I was breaking it in, I'll be honest, it, it was a pain. It was it was definitely a pain. Um, especially stopping old traffic, like going down to the drag strip to watch Blackie run and watch him for face off, the streetcar takeover. Uh, you know, going getting in, you know, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, 
Dude, by the end, I was like, man, I'm done. I'm parking my car. <laughs> you know, but you get used to it. And, um, you know, people always ask, does does it get easier? Does the, does the clutch, does the spring tension or whatever, does it get lighter? Um, I believe that it, it does break in a little bit. But really, I think what's happening is that you just get used to it. You know, this... This clutch is the new normal for me now. If I was to drive a, a factory car with a factory uh, clutch kit, it, you know, I'd have to like get used to that again because the engagement point is further out and it's a lot lighter. Uh, you know, it's more zippy kind of. This one takes a little more gas to go, you know, but you get you get used to it. It becomes a new normal and, and you're good. See, I'm able to roll forward and stuff in first gear. I'm just uh, right now I'm just getting used to being able to get on it again you know it's finally broken in I'm still getting used to, to mastering my new clutch flywheel combo and uh, the power I'm getting I'm getting used to how it feels again uh, surprisingly I feel it's I was surprised because when I got on it and stuff I'm like dude I, it's slow <laughs> the car feels slow to me and I guess that's good. It's better than, you know, being overwhelmed. You know, oh crap, I can't handle my car and it's not even fully tuned right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, the reason why I say it's not fully tuned is because, uh, you know, when I first got the car, it was bone stock. I took it to my mechanic. He put uh, full exhaust on it, turbo back, methanol injection, boost and wide band gauge, and a turbo timer, and that's it. Fully dialed it in. Uh, we joked around and called it a stage 2 plus because it had the methanol and water injection and the thing pulled like a mofo it was solid it was great it was responsive I mean it, you know and then my friend and I we started tinkering with it I, I let my mechanic slash tuner slash certified master tech I let him know that I was gonna do the front mount and all the other stuff because I was gonna go bigger eventually and you know the, the plan was to do that stuff and then he could tweak it or dial it in or whatever and uh, so we did and then I drove it around like a grandma until he was able to get to it but something was wrong you know we couldn't tune it or whatever come to find out it was the clutch pretty much right after I install all the stuff stock clutch is slipping <laughs> go figure so like sort of wastegate you know all that all the crazy awesome stuff the up pipe, cross pipe, everything to open up the car and give it more power and make it just more crazy and awesome. I couldn't utilize it because the dang clutch. And uh, the car only had 16,000 XXX miles on it when I got it, so you know, it. I forget when I tried to upgrade 30,000, 40,000, but you know, so yeah, it, it was a clutch. You know, he came back and said I can't do it, so I had to get a clutch and then. We had to find the time, and um, you know his, his shop got hammered, got real busy, and he pretty much told me, you know, if if your car becomes really bad, if it's slipping to where you can't drive it, let me know. We'll, we'll get you in, you know, emergency clutch install. So that's why it's it's been so long. And in the meantime, I've just been buying parts for the bigger build, including that clutch. That that's for the bigger build, 500 plus horsepower. Uh, so this clutch is actually more than what this car needs right now. And, uh... So anyways, um... Uh, yeah, so clutch is in, broken in. And, uh... Whoa. That was a little laggy there. I should have gave it more gas. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to get used to the car again, and um, it needs to tune. Like I said, it you know it was slipping. We couldn't dial it in. Now the clutch is in, and he pretty much just wanted me to see what the car will do. Uh, that's one reason why I wanted to film today to try to get this stuff to see what it's kind of doing. And um, I guess the plan right now is just to 
dial it in where it's safe enough to get me on the drag strip. I need to get some experience. And then uh, while I'm doing that, we'll build the motor and stuff. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, getting getting back to the uh, getting away from the backstory, getting back to the actual clutch kit. I like it, uh, even for a stop and go. I like it. It just takes some getting used to. You'll have to suffer through all the way to like 350 braking miles. After that, I think you'll start to feel, uh, you know, it get better. And hopefully, that also means you getting used to it. Once you get used to it, you know, you know that you know what you're searching for every time you go to engage it and you'll get better. You'll make tiny adjustments, muscle memory, you know, and it, it definitely holds. Um, they always talk about it being really loud and rattly. Uh, the only time it was like that was when I first started, basically just not giving it enough gas or letting the clutch out too far before you gave enough gas and it started getting kind of wonky. But again, you know, make that conscious effort to give it gas before you start letting out the clutch and you'll engage but you want to not over rev either you know ride the clutch or whatever look like a Subaru that's a Subaru red hatch yeah so right now I'm actually uh, while I'm driving and recording I'm actually going to get some wax let's see if I can wax my car for coffee and cars this Saturday If your ratio is good. I was able to press the clutch in and hold it during the entire stoplight, pretty much. That's how used to it I am now. Uh, but I do fear that it's going to wear a hole in my shoe. <laughs> I probably need to get a new shoe. for first second and third I wasn't even like getting into it enough to even get the car to pull it was just going uh, I think at the top of third going into fourth you can kind of hear me start to get into it finally where it sounds better uh, so is just going up too fast there's not enough room to play yeah, so yeah uh, overall right now with like 600 miles on it you know braking was 300 to 500 on the clutch uh, I gave it at least a 9 out of 10. I mean, the clutch feels great so far. It's holding. My other one was slipping the whole time. This one's holding what I got. So we'll see if, you know, this, this will continue to break it in. And by the time I go to up the power or build I'd recommend this clutch to anybody. Um, I don't know if I'd go like stage four, especially for city driving. Uh, but you know, Blackie's a daily driven car and its clutch is stiffer than this one. Granted, it's a different brand and it's dual disc. But uh, yeah, I'd say get it, suffer through the break in, you know, blip the throttle so you don't stall it or just focus really good on engaging it. And uh, yeah, I don't really get any of the chattering or any of that weird stuff people were talking about. Clutch seems to hold good. I need to do something with brakes though. Either the brake fluid is bad or something. It's I need more stopping power. You go inch away. I can finally 
get on the car again. Guys, later.